All right, guys, what's going on? Today, I just wanna make a quick video showing you guys how to show the FPS in CSGO, how to show your FPS count in CSGO. It's super easy to do. There's two simple ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you guys that today. Just a quick note, this video has done before, and I wanna tell you guys nothing has changed. I just wanted to make a newer, higher quality version to update you guys with these settings. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your settings in CSGO, come up here and click game and come down here to the bottom of the game section where it says enable developer console. Now make sure this is on yes. What this is going to do is this is going to allow you to open up your developer console in game. Basically it allows you to give the game commands for you to force certain things in game and today we're going to be forcing it to show our FPS. So like I said make sure this is on yes. That's all you need to change in your settings. If you already have this on yes you're good to go. Just go back to the home screen. So now on the home screen you're going to want to press the button on your keyboard. It's the button directly above tab. It looks like the little squiggly line. I, to be honest, I don't know what it's called, but go ahead and press that. And that is going to bring up your console. Now this may look super, super confusing, but guys, don't you don't need to worry about this. This is super simple to work with. Don't worry about any of the text on screen. For now, all we need to worry about is what I'm going to say next. So like I said, there's two ways you can show your FPS. The first way is by typing in this command, CL underscore show FPS space one and click enter. Enter will execute that command. Now, if you look in my top left-hand corner of my screen, you'll see that the show FPS is now on. You can see I'm averaging 119 to 120 consistently, and that is the max forced FPS for the home screen. Now, this is super nice and convenient. It's super small, easy to see. Now, if for some reason you guys aren't the biggest fan of this, you want something bigger, something that tells you a little bit more information, then you guys can use this next command instead. The next command would be this. Type into your console net underscore graph space one. Now you're gonna see here towards the bottom right, you'll see FPS, var, ping, loss, choke, tick, SV and ver again. Now what this is, is this is basically your net graph. Not only does this give you your FPS, which is in the top left hand corner of it, but it also gives you a bunch of other really nice important information in game. So a lot of this is going to be really confusing. I'm not going to go and explain all of it right now, but I can tell you guys the FPS is really all you need to worry about. And like I said, that's the top left hand corner part of it. The other thing that it gives that's really helpful is ping at the top right hand corner. Now this ping count, if you guys are wondering, this is your accurate ping count. If you press tab, it already does show you your ping in game, but that that can be a little bit delayed or not even accurate sometimes. This will always give you your accurate ping count. But basically, these are the two ways you can show your FPS in game. They're super nice and easy, super convenient, super easy to enable. And again, if you guys ever want to just get rid of this, if it gets if it gets too annoying, if you just don't care anymore, go ahead and open your console back up. And for the first FPS up in our top left hand corner, just type CL underscore show FPS, the same command, but instead of typing space one, you're going to type zero. And zero, if you look at the top left hand corner, we'll get rid of it. To get rid of the net graph at the bottom, same thing, net underscore graph zero. And there it goes, it's gone now. And now if we close out of our console, you'll see that the FPSs aren't showing anymore. So there you guys go. That's how you enable and disable your FPS. So I hope that helps you guys. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.